the three Joshua Juma Odiambo Muhammad Ali Abikar and Musharraf Abdallah Washali were arrested at midday on the border of the Chataveta and Tana River counties. Police say their plan was to transverse Garissa County and enter Somalia via Liboyi border, an area known to hostile Shabab cells. These people were moving towards Garissa and maybe finally to cross to Somalia. Detectives are piecing together details among them how the trio traveled to Itataveta and Tana River counties. <laughs> Detectives have also collected CCTV footage from committee maximum prisons where the three had been sentenced. <laughs> Detectives are piecing together details among them how the trio traveled to Itataveta, Kitui and Tana River counties. Detectives have also collected CCTV footage from committee maximum prisons where the three had been sentenced. The police have further interviewed a number of prison warden at the facility to gather details that brought about the laxity leading to the escape of the prisoners. Now that we have gotten them and we have officers we suspect failed in their duty to do this, we will ensure that the law takes its course and we bring all those who are involved to justice. The mistakes that were committed here on Monday are unforgivable. Authorities hope to unravel the plan and the motive behind their escape from a highly guarded committee prison and one of the country's most secured correctional facility. The inmates had been convicted on different accounts of terrorism. Joshua Juma Odiambo was arrested and sentenced after he arrived in the country from Somalia with no proper documentation. Mohamed Ali Abikar was arrested for being part of the terror group that attacked Garissa University on 2nd April 2015. 150 people were killed in the university attack. Musharraf Abdallah Washal was arrested while he attempted to bomb the Kenyan parliament with explosives. Investigators are now putting together events which might have aided the escape from custody. Sources say this was a well choreographed and long term plan. They believe someone was responsible for their escape Sunday night. As part of the probe, the president fired the immediate former Commissioner General of Kenya Prisons weekly for Gallo and appointed retired Brigadier John K. Basso to take over the Kenya Prison Department. We have raised the level of alert. Let us all be very careful about what we do around here. At the same time, Officer Commanding Committee Prison Charles Mutembe, his deputy and officers who were manning different security installations at the prison at the time of the incident, were arrested and arraigned before a court of law. <laughs> the prosecution is seeking to detain the six accused persons for 30 days to finalize on the investigations. The court ruled to decide on the application on Monday as it awaits directions on how the escapees will be charged for escaping from lawful custody. The swift action from the government has seen the three terror suspects who escaped from committee maximum prison arrested. Now the task is for the authorities to unravel the Sunday happenings that led to their escape. Franklin Wala, K24 TV.